What was the weirdest buddy system story you have? On our sixth grade field trip to the science museum, I got paired with Timothy, the kid who collected dead bugs and talked to himself. Everyone else got their friends, but I was stuck with the weird kid who smelled like cheese and wore the same Star Trek shirt three days in a row. Our teacher, Mrs. Chen, said we had to stay together at all times or we'd both get detention. I figured it would be the worst day ever. But Timothy surprised me when he whispered, follow my lead and we'll see stuff nobody else gets to see. I thought he was just being his usual weird self, but something in his voice made me curious. The bus ride there had been torture, with Timothy pulling out a magnifying glass to examine lint on the seat. Timothy walked straight past all the normal exhibit and headed to a door marked staff only. I tried to stop him, but he said, my uncle works here, trust me. He knocked in some weird pattern, three short, two long, one short, and the door opened. A guy in a lab coat looked down and said, oh, hey, Timothy, you ready for the special tour? Apparently, Timothy's uncle was the head of research and had been promising him a behind the scenes look for months. He'd been planning this whole thing and needed a buddy to make it work. We got to see live tarantulas, snake feeding time, and a room full of fossils that weren't on display yet. There were dinosaur bones still covered in dirt and a freezer full of specimens that made my stomach turn. Timothy was taking notes in a little notebook like some kind of junior scientist. The best part was when Timothy's uncle let us help feed the piranhas. All the other kids were looking at boring rocks in the geology section while we were dropping crickets into a tank full of razor-toothed fish. Timothy was in his element, asking detailed questions about venom and bite force. His uncle was impressed and kept saying, this kid's gonna be a scientist someday. Meanwhile, I was having the coolest field trip experience ever, all because I got paired with the weird kid nobody wanted to hang out with. We even got to hold a baby alligator and watch them prepare a snake skeleton. Timothy's uncle showed us a drawer full of butterfly wings and let us look at blood samples under a microscope. He had us help sort through boxes of newly arrived specimens from South America. Then Timothy's uncle brought out the real treasure, a room full of animals that were too dangerous for public display. We saw a black widow spider the size of a quarter, venomous snakes from six different continents, and a scorpion that glowed under UV light. Timothy was asking questions I'd never even thought of, like, how does the neurotoxin affect muscle control? Attractions while I was just trying not to pass out. His uncle let us feed the boa constrictor a frozen rat, which was both disgusting and amazing. Timothy documented everything with his little camera, taking pictures like he was on some National Geographic expedition. When we rejoined our class two hours later, everyone was jealous and asking how we got to do all that cool stuff. Timothy just shrugged and said, sometimes being different has its advantages. Our teacher, Mrs. Chen, was actually pretty mad that we'd wandered off, but when Timothy's uncle came out and explained everything, she couldn't really punish us. The other kids started treating Timothy differently after that, asking him about the spiders and wanting to be his partner for future trips. Kids who used to make fun of his bug collection were suddenly fascinated by his stories. I realized that the kid everyone thought was weird was actually just really passionate about science. His cheese smell turned out to be from the formaldehyde he used to preserve specimens, and he talked to himself because he was practicing scientific explanations. We stayed friends through high school, and guess what? Timothy's now getting his PhD in entomology at Stanford. He still has that same Star Trek shirt, and he still smells a little like formaldehyde. Sometimes the best buddy is the one nobody else wants.